<laughs> is it shaking? It's not we are bad. in a boat, so okay. Hey Hi. everybody. Hi, I'm Noelle. And I'm Grant. And this is our 1980 Downeaster Cutter sailboat that we're sitting in right now. You can't really see the whole thing. We will do a boat tour eventually, but we just wanted to give a little introduction because we started this channel about a month ago and we didn't know exactly what we were doing. <laughs> yeah. We still um, don't know what we're doing. Yes, that is true. Grant was down in Long Beach working on the boat one weekend when I couldn't come with him and I just started this channel um, by posting a really scrappy video and we got lots of great positive feedback and thank you for subscribing and so we just decided to keep it going and document this journey of us fixing up um, this sailboat Sweaty. to cruise. We'll see no, you along just... the way. day but I got this compartment figured out which is just some leftover um, Home Depot composite decking stuff had to put a few screws in it's not the prettiest but it's just a deck locker but now I can store the anchor right here instead of having it float down into the bottom of the well you see our steering quadrant and all that storage on the other side. So I'm going to bring the cover anchor over to this new side to help balance the boat out. It was a windy start to our week, which is unusual for September on the central coast. We had gusts of wind up to 18 knots in the middle of the day. Usually springtime is our windy season, so I wasn't focused on losing our beanbag chair when I left it on the, our foredeck. I wish I could blame it on the unusual weather, but in fact, it was just another learning lesson for me for life on the boat. <laughs> Grant, I don't get why we can't just bring the mattress in here and cut it. <laughs> cut it and just into like a V shape. So our next project is going to be replacing this mattress, which I'm really excited for because it is in not the best condition, as you can see. It's been around since 1980. That's older than Grant and I. Not combined, but individually. <laughs> combined? No. <laughs> um, so we are going to make a template with some of the wood that we brought out here. is isn't just a V shape. It's actually curved. If you look along the uh hole here i guess what would we call uh -huh. that it's actually curved like this like a banana would be so uh best to make a template so we can maximize all space because grant likes to take up a lot of room in, in the bed no it's because i sleep on this side <laughs> and if we don't cut it right and there's a hole down there you'll just be like it's fine <laughs> mattress we found this hole in the boat and then up there we see a collapsed hose so For another our one emergency bilge pump both sides are collapsed down because they made them do too hard of a turn hmm. so we're discovering things as we're upgrading our systems which is good Did you get me popcorn? I didn't get any. Oh good, thank you. <laughs> Shh. 
Should have just had him. Did you get yourself home. any popcorn? No, I got you three bags. <laughs> It was odd to begin with the mattress as one of our starting projects, since there are so many other items to check off our list. But I know that being comfortable sleeping is so important. Mattresses are the most underrated piece of furniture. Having a comfy sleep set up will encourage us to spend more nights on the boat, therefore allowing us more hours to work on the boat. We decided to go with a full and a twin foam mattress off Amazon because it was six inches of foam at a reasonable price. We wanted to cut it so that the storage lockers underneath were still accessible, while also preventing an awkward seam to sleep on. We returned home after a full day's work on the boat, but not before we stopped at the pit, a uh, surf break, for a barbecue with friends, something we often do on the weekends. My friend recently told me that the rock, Moro Rock, looks like a rhino talking with a seahorse. And that made me giggle. The irony is not lost on me that this place can make anyone feel comfortable, a part of a community, even when they may not completely fit in. Or you could just laugh and say, yeah, that does look like a rhino. Because life can be serious enough, and sometimes you just need a good laugh. Okay, I don't know if you can tell by the trees, the avocado tree, but it is eight knots of wind right now, 7.30 a.m. We are not on the boat sailing. Wah, wah. There's gonna be days where we just really wanna sail, but like we have stuff in the boat, tools everywhere, our hot water heater is not in place, our new refrigerator system is like still really loose and that's fragile. So it's just not a good day for sailing. Oh, look at that wind. That's okay. We're gonna get a new mattress. We're gonna use this deck space all right here that Grant and his dad built. And actually I did that. Um, and lay out the mattress that we got on Amazon for pretty good price and put the template over it and try to cut it. And hopefully that's gonna be done later today. We'll see. It was a no to sailing today, but we couldn't resist a quick kiteboarding session near the back bay. I have probably attempted to kite surf in the water with the wetsuit flying a kite about eight different times for an hour each time, and I have yet to actually stand and surf on the board for more than two seconds. <laughs> Grant's had a hard time teaching me because, well, I'm a bit fearless, stubborn, and determined to learn. It scares him that I have yet to feel the actual weight of a kite and its damage it could do. This is a tricky sport and one that should be taken really seriously. You can get very injured if you aren't proficient at flying the kite. But today was different and it just clicked. After getting tossed around a few dozen times, I finally kite surfed and I am hooked. So fun. I just did my best uh, kite session yet. I went all the way from like there to there. Oh, and there's Grant in the background. He's doing really well. <laughs> oh, that's Grant getting the air. There's Grant and Reed. Grant's helping out Reed because they lost a uh, halyard down the mast. So I don't know what their plan is, but taking a break from boat work so that we can help a friend. He's helped us many times. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it will poof up to. Ash, that's way thicker already. I don't have much throw on the knife. Okay. I lost the tip. What's going on? <laughs> under the pan. <laughs>
number off. Number. Oh, this one. Hi everyone and welcome to our adventures. Hi everyone. Oh god, I sound like Pee Wee Herman. You want me to do it? <laughs> I'll do it. What are you gonna do the whole thing? Dip it up a little bit. Oh. Good point. Oh, you're gonna cut my head off again. <laughs> Let's pause. Hey everybody, my name is Grant and this is my lovely wife. Noelle. Noelle. And this is our big boat, Ima, Imua. Oh my god, Grant, <laughs> that's not our boat's name. <laughs> That's Reed's boat. <laughs> Serena? That's yeah. Reed's boat. Oh, we'll just go in. Testing. I, I trust you. Is it going? Okay. Here, I'll wait for you to sit down. So we're just like drinking a beer with the video camera. Oh, okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wait, sit next to me. I am sitting next to you. <laughs> okay. Hey, everyone. Hey, everybody. I'm Noelle. And I'm Grant, and welcome to our big Down Easter 38 Cutter Mundial. 1980. I just, okay, cut. Sorry. Didn't I say 1980? No, you didn't. You said welcome to our big Down Easter 38 Cutter yeah. Mundial. So it. Yeah, it's okay. So now it's all shaking, and you know, we have to wait. <laughs> 